Hey, it's Kalu with Flat Irons Tuning, and for Tech Tip today, I'm going to talk to you about the Cobb Fuel Pressure Sensor. So, we are using it in a way that is a little bit out of the box, but it's pretty neat, and uh, I don't think a lot of people know that you can do uh, uh, use it in the way that we are. So, how we discovered this is we were running into a problem when we were prepping the car for the 2016 Pikes Peak Hill Climb. The problem we were having is we were down on power, the car was cutting out and sputtering. Um, through a lot of diagnosis uh, and some help from Harvey at the Boost Creep and Jerry at InBoost Performance, what we discovered is we had a failing fuel pump. So once we finally diagnosed that and fixed it, Harvey mentioned us that, hey, we should put on a Cobb fuel pressure sensor. Now, we're not running E85 and, and currently don't have a plan to run E85, so it was not even on our radar, but then he explained us why and it was an absolute no-brainer. So, now, I'll preface this, this is not for every car. This is not a bolt-on, and there, there's a lot of pieces that go to this puzzle. So, I'll, basically, you, for you to be able to do this, your car has to be compatible with the current Cobb Flex Fuel system, the whole system. Also, you have to have already installed TGV deletes. So, pretty much, it's just going to be the 8 to 14 WRX, and I believe the 8 to 14 or 15 STI, and the newer STIs uh, that are not direct injected, as long as Cobb has flex fuel support for it. But if, you, if your car meets all that criteria and you have the TGV deletes, then you can run the fuel pressure sensor even if you have no plans on running E85. And this is why. What it does, so well first, what's in the box? You get a fuel pressure sensor, Cobb's special adapter so that you can basically uh, plug it in onto the factory fuel rail and then you get this cool wiring harness. What this does is it plugs in the sensor and it runs it on the wires that originally were going to the, the tumbler valves, the TGVs. So when it's turned on, one of the really cool things is it lets you log fuel pressure. So now, if you're doing a data log with your access port or whatnot, you can actually monitor and see what your fuel pressure is in real time as you're doing the log. But here's the really cool thing. So when you're logging this your tuner can set it up so that if your fuel pressure drops, your injector duty cycle will actually increase to compensate for the change in fuel pressure. So what this amounts to is you actually have a lot more consistent fueling even if you're not running 85 or not doing anything else. And it makes a, a big, big difference. And so like, um, you know, if you have a fuel pump that's starting to go, this at least gives your, your, your car a chance to kind of run a little bit safer. But even more to the point, you have a lot more consistent fueling just by installing this and now you can log your fuel pressure as well. So it, those two uses, if you have the ability to install it, so TGVs are deleted because that's the wire, how the wiring runs and your car is compatible with Cobb's Flex Fuel Kit. So it's got to be you know, set up the, so that the tuner can tune, turn that function on once, it, once you can you know, basically connect to the fuel pressure sensor makes the car a lot safer, a lot more reliable to drive, especially if you're pushing it hard. So from that standpoint, like if you can do this, if you've got all the, the pieces to the puzzle and you know, talk to your tuner first, because the tuner has to turn all of that on. This is nothing plug and play. So there's a lot of custom work necessary for this. But if you can do this, it's not a very expensive part and that it just gives you a lot better, more reliable tune and, and safer fueling across the board. So pretty cool thing we want to just uh, throw it out there that maybe you guys didn't know about it. So thanks for watching and if you like the video please drop a like.